Hey, John here. Let's talk about how the ARC-2 procedure works. And in doing so, we'll use the fiducial um, procedure that we defined in the last video. All right. So how does this thing work? Well, we're going to put a green, uh, what is this, a red, red fiducial at 200, 200. So that's 200 over an X, 200 up in Y. That's where the red guy is. We're going to put a green one at 200, 300 right there. And then we're going to put a blue one over here at 300, 300. Okay. So arc two is going to draw this line and here's how it's going to do it. We got to create a new path because we're going to stroke a path down here in the last line of the program there. And we need, let's move this over here so we can see the comments here. Let's uh, zoom out a little bit and squish this over there. There we go. Yeah, that's good enough. Okay, so the way this works is you go to some place in the drawing, in the, in the, on the page, in the sheet space, and we're going to go to 200, 200, and we've already marked that with a red fiducial. So we set the current position right there to the red fiducial. Then we put five arguments on the stack for arc two. Normally I'd write it out one big line, but this is easier to make comments for each one of the uh, sections of these arguments, right? So the first things on the stack that are parameters to arc two are going to be a point that it's going to target itself at. So conceptually, what I the way I think about it, arc two says, look, you're at some place. You're going to travel somewhere, which is going to be this green fiducial. And when you get there, you're going to turn and then travel somewhere else, which we're going to see is this blue fiducial. So what we're going to do is we want to draw a line from red to green to blue. That's what arc2 will do. And this number down here is the radius that it should use when it turns the corner at green. All right, so the bigger this number gets, the wider this turn is going to be when it turns to and to to aim at the target point. All right, now it doesn't actually finish and go to the target point. The target point exists for sole purpose of letting it know where the arc is supposed to stop being drawn. All right, so start at the red, go to green, turn and aim at blue, and when you turn. Uh, and, you know, turn in and, and keep a, a, a circular path. So if I change the 50 to 30, you should see it redraw. And obviously that's a tighter turn. So that's what governs that, right? Arc 2 will consume these five arguments off the stack. And when it executes, it actually returns values on the stack. It gives us four values. It's an X and a Y coordinate of where the turn started and where the turn ends. So if you want them, you can get the coordinates of where the, the bending part of this uh, line took place. I don't want them, so I'm going to just pop them off and throw them away. Now, if you really did want to go from red to blue by way of green and draw the whole line, it's no big deal. When the arc is done, the current position in the graphics context will be right there at the end of that arc. So you can simply put the same coordinates 300, 300, where the blue fiducial was and where you told it to aim at when it was when it came out of its arc, you can simply just add a line to operation right there, which I just did and redraw it. So now you can see what's really going on there. All right. That's all there is to arc to. Simple. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Bye.